Government Transport Minister Philip Hammond spoke to the press today ahead of the unveiling of the Tories' preferred route for a new 250 mile per hour high speed rail link between Birmingham and London. He said that tweaks had been made to the previous government's plans to try and take into account concerns of people who live along the route. Well, we've taken the route that the previous government announced and we've worked all the way along it, improving it where we can, realigning it to try to avoid the most sensitive areas and the biggest impacts on communities. So it will be a modified version of the Route 3 that the previous government issued as its preferred route. There are some people who are implacably opposed to this railway being built and I'm not going to win them over. But there are a lot more people who live along the route who are understandably concerned about what the impact will be on them and their properties. And I hope that the maps and details that we're going to be publishing today will go a long way to reassuring many of those people that we have mitigated the impact and this is not going to have uh, the negative effects on them that perhaps they've been led to believe. Well, it's precisely because of the lack of capacity in the current system that we need to build additional rail capacity. By 2020, we will be out of capacity on the London to Birmingham and the London to Manchester routes. We have to build an additional rail route from between London, Birmingham and Manchester. And we've taken the decision that that should be high speed uh, that brings additional economic benefits, but even if we didn't go for high speed, we would need to build a new railway to provide the extra capacity.